Alright. I don't know why, but I felt like doing uh, Entrepreneur today. I know we have just done Engineer not long ago, but I don't know. I just want to do a full wrench run, like a chill one, so we'll do that here. And, I, and you know, as a general non-fan of engineering, I will say full wrench entre entrepreneur is pretty strong. I still think full wrench engineer is better, but this is not far behind. It'll be most likely a pretty easy run. We won't be able to kill elites most likely, or the bosses at the end. But I'm not ruling it out. Uh, could just take some HP. Take this. And... I don't think I'm going to flex in... That other stuff. Why did we gain so little money there? Am I tripping or am I tripping? Like, am I tripping? Like, I started to think, like, did I miss something about... I was like, pretty sure he doesn't lose, like, materials on enemy drop, but that was, like, abysmally bad. I'm pretty sure I killed enemies, too. Like, I wasn't, like, not killing enemies. I don't know. It's wonky sometimes. I didn't even re-roll my level ups. Like, I don't know. Maybe, uh, yeah. I don't know. Even here it looks pretty small. Like, I'm missing something here. Well, anyway, here's Wonderwall. Uh, we'll take that. Ooh, we'll definitely lock that. I'm gonna look for our wrenches right now, though. Alright, we got a pretty good start anyway. Nice thing is, everything is so cheap with Entrepreneur. But yeah, I was like, I'm Entrepreneur, I bought one wrench, how am I... And I immediately rolled into another, how am I, how am I not able to afford another? I have uh, cheap everything, everything's cheap with uh, Entrepreneur. Well, oh, and I've, I might have messed up there, I should always re-roll. Uh, as much as possible, because obviously you carry no money into the next round. Uh, some speed would be fine. Some engineering. Take that, take that, take that. Could buy the weird food. I keep looking for engineering stuff. Okay, sharp bullets, good. There we go. I uh, probably should have took that scar, actually, because range does not affect your turrets. Oh well. It only affected it in a previous patch. Plasma Sledgehammer? I don't think so. Pretty wild to find that in Wave 4, though. <laughs> Alright. We're just gonna upgrade that blue to a purple. You can see already, though, we've been able to buy so many things, and we don't lose too many materials uh, when we are at the end of our shop cycle. So, And then 
since we're engineering, we get no downside from the 50% damage reduction, so it's pretty much all positive with this character. I love this song. Could do Mushroom. I don't think so. Cute Monkey's better. Kill that guy, kill that guy. Darn it. <laughs> Fighting engineering, which is nice. We like the reds. Take things like pencil. Go all of my turrets are elsewhere. You see why I probably prefer engineering though, right? Or engineer for engineering, because like I do get these weird situations. Like I, I really don't like the turret placement here. They're all over the map, and the, my best turret is kind of off as far as possible to the side, away from everything else. Uh, whereas you'll never get that problem with engineer. this because there's not much else for me to do here yeah Wish there was an item that could uh, increase the range of your turrets. It was be kind of neat. Call it structure range or something. Like maybe some of the more boring engineering items could factor that in. Be like, oh, just plus 10 tier turret range or something on top of what they do. Doesn't really help me. Two of them in a row. That happens too often. I feel like it's uh, not actually random. Okay, that's a good one. Crit chance is a no-go. These are no... Okay, let's take this for our chance at beating uh, bosses. We do have a horde early on though, but I don't know. I'm down with it. Okay, that's pretty good. I have exact lethal on that coupon there. Exact legal. Is it just me, or 
when you're not engineer, like all of the turrets just always go in a ring around the map and they're never in the middle. That's how it seems. Wave 9, not too tough here with the combo of the explosive turret and the fact that I have a sharp bullet. Some HP. Engineering. Got another red that's nice. Pencil. Okay, compass is good. Explosive is good. Everything so cheap is just so nice, right? Do I take this? Don't think so. Don't take that either. I don't even like a lucky charm. Let's just uh, let it roll. Don't like a bag. So now we have some that are kind of in the middle. This is a much better uh, spread on our stuff. Busted here. Guess we need some dodge, huh? Bait no good. Compass good. Alright, let's get ourselves another wrench. Got three of them. Ooh. Make it four. Not too bad, eh? Uh, we could take a metal tube. Our, 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 our uh, survivability is not the best. Eighteen seconds. Try not to stray too far from my hot zone here. Still trying to pick stuff up, though, you know. Not that good. Not that good. Probably the only time I won't take a night goggles. Just doesn't really do anything for me, unfortunately. Um, none of this. Could take that. Definitely take that. 
Don't even need the glasses. This doesn't do anything for engineering, unfortunately. We'll have full uh, red wrenches soon enough. Too late for bowler hat. here. Okay. Oh, there we go. This is the worst Chain Deco's track, but I think it's over, thankfully. No, it is not over. Another horde. Oh, I'm gonna keep buying them because that's just how I do. All right, we're getting there. Tardy ground any worth here? I suppose so. Finn is okay. Uh, we'll take that pencil. There goes Tardy Grad. I don't even know the proper pronunciation. I've never... That's one of those words that is not in my vocabulary. I have no idea what a actual Tardy Grad, Tardy Grade, Tardy Grade, whatever it is. Whatever its real life application is. I am unaware of what that is. Is it like a species of slug or something? I mean, what does it look like? A slug, right? With legs? Like a leech, maybe? take medical turret. We've determined it's basically never worth it. We got a horde coming up. Do I take this to up my piercing damage? Because I actually don't even know if it works that way, but like right now I have minus 10. If I get like a uh, pumpkin, nah, it's not worth it. Plus one engineering for every elemental damage. I don't think so. There's a pumpkin. I'll take that, and I guess I'll take a lure, even though it technically doesn't give me... It still nets me one HP regen, but those items... I got the recycling machine, so it should be worth it. Alright, this is a horde? No, the next wave is a horde, right? That's an interesting turret spawn. Like, I guess only the northern hemisphere has turrets in this one. the North Star, avoid the Southern Cross. The only reason I know about the Southern Cross is because of Star Tropics. On the NES. Haven't been following Smash Brothers in a while, but if they haven't added Mike from Star Tropics to the game yet, then they're blowing it. I mean, it was basically, uh... Honestly, it was, if I'm, if 
I'm comparing uh, NES games, I think it was actually a better game than Zelda. It was very similar to Zelda. I believe it was made by some of the same people, and kind of a reskin of Zelda in a way, but I think it is... Uh, I, I never actually thought the regular NES Zeldas were that good, but certainly when Link to the Past came into the picture, stuff got pretty good. Okay, that's a third silver bullet. I better be killing those guys when they come around. I'm gonna take a baby gecko just on principle. Take a schmoop too. Uh, I'm pretty sure ricochet is gonna be worth it. Piercing and ricochet, that'll be interesting. Makeshift slingshot turrets. Western Hemisphere here has the most of the turrets here. I wonder what would happen if, like, the Earth just had a one-time 90-degree rotation and then all of a sudden we were rotating on, like, the X-axis. Would be wild. Engineering or dodge? Two luck for every crit. Don't think I'll be making use of that. I guess it makes sense to take bait now, because I reduced my damage percent so much. I honestly don't even know if that works, though. Like, I don't know if my percent damage even factors into the piercing. I think it does. I also don't know that I care that much, but I guess I'll keep doing this. And I guess I'll take this. I don't know. I mean, technically, maybe my wrench can get some relevant damage or something. over here. Wow. This, look at this leech, dude. Or this lamprey. Just surviving in the middle of this. That red buff is no joke, huh? Yeah, I thought it's only supposed to give them 250% health. It seems like it gives them like 5,000% health, honestly. Trying to pay attention. What are these projectiles doing? Seems like they only. I, I was think. I was hoping on bounce that they would explode twice because I know on pierce they don't seem to explode twice. But it doesn't seem like the bounce is applying the explosion twice either. I feel like it's still worth it for killing the purposes of killing the elites. I'll get a lot more shots in on the elite this way theoretically, and the bosses. Take some armor. Take, take. I'm just gonna keep taking these because, on principle, it's definitely not worth my money, though. Do I take this? Because, again, without an improved tools, it doesn't really make sense. Perfect. Oh, this is an easy elite. Look at this. He's just getting bodied. Just, I'm up to uh, the randomness of its moving RMG, though, a little bit, because yeah, he was in the, the hot zone there, but he's going to have to come back to the hot zone if he's going to die. This is where hopefully the ricochet can hit him. Kind of in the hot zone, not really though. I'll lead the 
enemies to it at least. Man, okay, so kind of what I'm talking about here though, like I got three of those uh, silver bullets which do work with engineering and I can't kill the elite and this is the lowest HP elite in the game. Kind of uh, shows off a little bit of my anti-engineering bias there. I suppose we could take this at this point. Uh, do we have yet another engineering run where I just cannot find improved tools at all? It seems to be shaping up that way. Uh, we don't need more speed. Alright, that's alright. Uh, we're a little pretty late for coupon to be worth. I guess we could take a cheap, peaceful bee for some dodge. We don't care about the harvesting. Oop, I need to, like, not take damage. Certainly our AoE is good. Tank killing though, just can't have it. Guess we can take that speed. Minus five engineering, I don't think so. <sighs> Might be the one time I don't take wings. I mean, my speed is at 43. Don't think we really need that. That's good. Um, just buy that, I guess. I don't know. I really want to try to get improved tools if I can. I'm just going to keep hard rolling for it. Uh, do we want that? I'm sure we do. This is probably fine. I mean, it's two engineering for 78 bucks. Eh, probably not, honestly. And even this is iffy. I should lock these. Eh, screw it. I'll take all of them. I'll just take everything. It's my last shop. I, I'm just going to give up on getting the improved tools. I want to be able to whack the trees with my wrenches if I need to, so that's why I'm taking the lumberjack shirt. Like right there, might be some weird situation where I really need that tree to die. It's probably worth 36 bucks to get that. You never know what type of trouble I might get into with the bosses, because we're probably not killing them despite the fact that we have three silver bullets nearly double damage against them. But that's how it goes, I guess. Dodge cap, but that's fine. Um, let's see, what are we looking for at this point? Anvil's pretty late. A lot of good items for most other builds, not this build though. Alright, that's fine. Um... Could do a white flag at this point. There's really nothing else to find, so 
Yeah. No improved tools yet again. We should have a running counter on how many non-engineering runs that went the distance. We'll, we'll only count ones that go the distance, so we get the full 20 waves, same sample size. Which ones I got improved tools on when I'm not running engineering versus uh, when I do get it, which I think is zero. I think I've gotten it once in my entire career. Not even exaggerating. Maybe once or twice in my entire career of engineer have I gotten improved tools. Meanwhile, it's like I think basically every non-engineering run I get it. And I take it, because, I mean, it's an overpriced coffee, but that's still good. You see how little damage we're doing to these bosses? It's wild. Remind me to never buy a silver bullet when I'm running engineering again. I mean, this is just pathetic. I can do more damage as, like, a pacifist against these guys. But it's still an easy run, all things considered. It just would have been more satisfying to kill the bosses. Like, it certainly was not a hard run at all. So, I would say Engineering Entrepreneur is probably S tier. Probably S tier. Got eight big old materials by the end there. Zero damage dealt. 20, or 18 total regen. I don't even know if that was good. I probably didn't need that. Probably didn't need the pierce either. Um, probably didn't need that. 8,000 damage. I think I got that like two or three waves left. Uh, 207, that was alright. Keep in mind everything's cheaper, so I, don't, I, I think I, the recycling is affected by that. That was the biggest waste of money ever. Um, 148, that was worth 1,000 servo. Okay, that's, that's worth, I do wonder if that calculation is correct, though. Something doesn't seem right there. I guess I'm buying a lot of stuff. Oh well, yeah, as a run, engineering, let's go. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.